This is an unboxing, setup and review of a Wilson Electronics DB Pro cell phone signal booster for home or large office. Most of all phones and carriers except Hydron and Nextel, supports multiple solid devices, reduces disconnect and drop calls, improves your cellular coverage for voice and data, do your self installation, everything you need is in the box, made in the USA. Wideband directional antenna included. In the bottom you can see more than 20 times the power of your cell phone alone, up to 5,000 square feet of coverage for your home or large office. On the top, have the Wilson Electronics and DB Pro. On the bottom, once again, Wilson Electronics DB Pro. The strong cellular signal and say goodbye to drop calls. On the side, Wilson Electronics Inc. DB Pro, cell phone signal booster. On the left hand side. On the back we have Wilson Electronics once again, do-it-yourself installation, everything you need is in the box. More than 20 times the power of your cell phone alone, up to 5,000 square feet of coverage for your home or large office. Inside the box we have a plastic protective cover, showing you. We have the inside panel antenna and the Wilson signal booster. Underneath the package, we have a lot of cable. The power supply and mounting brackets. Some documentation, including product registration. Antenna installation guide, signal booster installation guide, and another antenna installation guide. From now, we have a Wilson directional outside antenna. First thing we will want to install is a Wilson wideband antenna. Now where I live there is a lot of hills, trees, other obstructions and the cell phone towers are quite far away. So to give the system a better chance I've installed my antenna on top of a 20 foot high flagpole. Now these flagpoles can be picked up online for about $60 or you can find them in the local store for about $120. As you can see at the moment I have a cable running on the outside and this is just so I can test the system. You will also see that I put a cable to pull the coax free from the main antenna uh, in the pole already so when it has been set up I can have that cable inside where it is protected and hidden. I've also riveted each section together as these come in four foot sections and otherwise it's quite flimsy. At the bottom I have a deck here so I've got two long screws going into the deck and at the very bottom there is a two foot long sleeve which is buried in concrete. As you can see the antenna gains height which is about it seven feet higher than the house, it is hidden out of the way and should I need to be able to access it, all I need to do is undo those two screws and lift the flagpole out of the sleeve and I can get to it extremely easy. The second part of installation is installing the internal wideband panel antenna. 
Here I have placed it on a wall so it is easy accessible by a Tessa system. And you can see this cable connects to the signal booster. When everything has been tested, I will relocate this panel antenna into the ceiling where it is hidden out of the way and centrally located in my house. In the final part of installation, we are going to connect the signal booster. Note that just like the internal panel antenna, this will be relocated when everything has been set up and tested. Installation is very easy, simply by connecting the external antenna there, the internal antenna there, and plugging in the power supply unit. As you can see, both lights are up at the moment, and we have the 800 and 1900 megahertz gain, both set to maximum. What I have done to show testing of this video with the phones is I've used a remote control plug socket. So right now I will turn the unit on so you can see the operation. Now the lights will flash for about 15 to 20 minutes while it receives a signal and settles down. Okay, now that the signal booster is set up, let's show the difference in service with the unit being turned off. Once again, I have the remote control and it is turned off. On this side here we have the HTC Resound which is on the Verizon network. Let's just do a quick test call. Welcome to Verizon Wire. You can see that one works. Verizon does, have, does advertise as having service here. Then we have the track phone which is with the AT&T network. Now on this one, you can see we don't really have any reception. So let's try making a test call. We'll call Apple. We just came to one tiny bit of bar. AT&T does show us having some reception around here, but there's a lot of hills and reception usually fails, as you can see. It's trying to find a call, but it won't go through. At the end, we have the HTC Evo 3D, and this is on the Sprint network with Virgin Mobile. And once again, we'll do a test call. Just gonna move that away for a second as I use this phone. And as you can see, no bars at all. Now Sprint doesn't advertise as having any reception here and doesn't have any reception for miles and miles and miles. However, this is one of the cheapest phone services you can get, including data, and the reason why I'm testing this unit right now. So once again, I'll end that call because it doesn't work. So now I'm going to turn the signal booster on. And we shall check reception. With Verizon. Now we have almost full bars with Verizon. Once again, we'll make a test call. Now bear in mind, normally this booster is meant to be on for about 20 minutes for it to be able to gather signal and settle down and I've just turned it on, it's only been on for a few seconds. So once again, that does work, but we do get better signal. On a track phone before, which failed to make a call, we now show full bars. So let's make a test call. Yes, there's have a few minutes left. Right? Kind of automated system that can handle complete sentence. And you can see we now get reception on the at t base track phone. Now for the 
Virgin Mobile HTC Evo 3D, which is on the Sprint network. So before, absolutely no reception. Now we are showing four bars and one times data service. Now usually this will result to 3G service, but it takes a while for the signal booster to get the data it's needed. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is we'll just try making a test call. Just going to move this away. Write out a number. And once again, this is calling Apple. Welcome to Apple. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. I'm an automated system that can handle complete sentences. So tell me, how can I help you today? So once again, that is the Sprint network before, which had no reception and now it has four bars of reception and data. Let me just go to a web page and I'm hoping it'll turn on the 3G shortly. It's all on one time at the moment or one X. And as you can see, it just loaded the internet, which even at 1x speed is still pretty cool because once again, before I had no reception at all. And there you go. You saw it in web pages. So this is a demonstration of the Wilson Electronics DB Pro Home Small Office Signal Booster and as you can see it does make a huge difference especially when you have prepaid phone services with Sprint or track phone where normally you can't get reception. Now in a few minutes what I will do is I'll come back to the Sprint one and see if 3G picks up and do a quick test of the data reception then. As you can see it works perfectly fine. And like I said before, where I live, there's a lot of hills, water, and Sprint doesn't advertise as having any reception for a long, long way. But now, with Signal Booster, I can make calls, I can use data, I can send text messages, and their low monthly pricing compared to uh, contracts, this Signal Booster is definitely a great addition, and I highly recommend it. Okay, this is a quick update. This is about two or three minutes after the last video ended. And now we are showing you that we may have 3G available. So what I'm going to do, let me go to apps. Go to YouTube. Let me turn this around. I'll close that. Let's do a search for... I'm sure I'll use that one, that's one of my videos. Okay, as you can see, here's buffer in the video. Bear in mind also that I live in a very remote area, so... The speed service is not as fast as a popular city, but as you can see, the streaming video where before we couldn't even get any cell phone reception. So right now I can use 3G service, watch videos, listen to music, send texts, make calls, etc. And that was all for the price of the unit. A flagpole, which you may not need to use, but I use purely to give some extra height and as you can see it made a big difference so once again i highly recommend the wilson electronics db pro home office signal booster